What's good, everybody? It's Amarillo the God Slayer, so Amarillo Gaming. We're back in more Warframe. Today, we're going to talk about and have a nice little discussion about, or tutorial about, or just a good old fashioned talk about Nidus. The, the disease Warframe. <laughs> well, basically, the infested Warframe. Today, we're going to talk about him and, uh, I guess do like a nice tutorial if you haven't if you're thinking about picking up Nidus, you can use this kind of like a, as a reference as to if you would like him or not um again Nidus is all about the infest the infestation if you know anything about warframe the infestations just like it says it's, it's a like a it's like a disease that's highly contagious it can infect just about everything and anything um and in some cases it seems like it can actually infect non-inanimate objects so like it can spread across a ship Things of that nature, you know, and you can like make a ship living almost. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty OP in this world. But like, Nidus is a Warframe that is made of this infestation. Um, just about all of the Warframes are actually used with, uh, is actually fused with infestation. That's why they look the way they do. That's why they look strange because of that. But Nidus is like purely infestation. Uh. One of the few things about Nidus that I think is fun is that Nidus is, when you play him, you can't really, like, play him the way you would do, a, like, a cliche style of Warframe usage, like, nuke an entire room or things of that nature. Nidus is a little more fun because of the fact that you can, while your abilities are, like, kind of OP'd, they're very OP. They're OP'd in a very uh, subtle way, and I, we'll get into that. So, when we're playing with Nidus, we gotta look at his abilities here. All right, let's take a look at Nidus's abilities here. His passive: if he is killed with at least fifteen stacks of mutation, and we'll talk about the stacks in a minute. Those fifteen stacks are consumed, and this grants him five seconds of invulnerability and restores his health to fifty percent. So he basically, as long as he has 15 stacks, he can never die. That is part of what makes Nidus OP. Is that if you can get, if you can generate up 15 or more stacks and be able to do that continuously, Nidus can never die. Now, what's cool about this is the way you can build Nidus to, to, to withstand a ton of, a ton of damage. Because if we look at Nidus in his actual uh, stats here, Nidus possesses no shields. It is impossible to, do, to basically give him shields. But he has a health pool that can be like super large. And he can have a very, very high armor state compared to most frames. So this is what you would want to focus on in terms of Nidus. His armor rating and his health. But you don't want to focus on it too much because you do want some things to uh, counteract his, uh, to, to add on to his abilities. Speaking of abilities, we have Virulence, his number one. He hits the, he stomps the ground and like this line of infestation comes out. And uh, and basically for every five enemies it hits, it, it like multiplies its destructive force. But very, you won't hit five enemies too often unless you've got them bunched up, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But it uh, it steals energy, so it'll give you energy back. So even though it takes energy to use, you'll get that energy back after you, you know, when you hit a, a couple of people with it. And it also allows you to generate stacks of, uh, as you can see, as you saw those numbers going up on the right side there, that's the stacks of mutation. Larva. This creates a, a miasming bulb of, of tentacles that basically it acts like a it, it it doesn't really do damage. I guess you say it could, but it doesn't really do damage. But it allows you to bunch enemies up into a into a spot, and that way you could do it use a virulence to hit them while they're in this larval, and of course get your energy back that way. And of course, uh get your uh because in larval enemies that are killed while held in it 
can generate a mutation stack as well. So you can get that, uh, the most generation, those stacks generate pretty good. Parasitic Link. Parasitic Link has two purposes. One purpose is for buffing another player. So let's say there's a player on your team that's got maybe like a really good uh, ability move, right? Well, you can buff their ability strength by uh, linking to them with a tentacle and it'll put goo all over their Warframe and um, it'll buff their ability strength. Um, when it comes to uh, linking them, when it comes to linking to an enemy, what it does is it redirects all of the damage that's done to Nidus, well, a percentage of that damage, it redirects it to the enemy that he's linked to. And when he links it, when Nidus links to an enemy, that enemy becomes incapable of doing anything. Now, that damage redir redirection for my particular Nidus build is an 80% damage reduction, but that's off base. That's not taking into account our, uh, our 20% that we get our 20% ability strength that we will go that we get from uh hardened wellspring and Zenerick. So take that with the uh with what's with what's needed there in terms of uh understanding that it'll be more than 80% if you're using Zenerick and you're using it correctly with that. Then you have Ravenous, the four, the infamous number four. And what Ravenous does is it uh Basically, puts down this nasty infestation in like a uh, eight meter radius, and that's the max you can get it to. You can't go past eight. Um, and when you put that down, what happens is uh, uh, basically these maggots run around, and it heals. It'll heal for, um, it'll regenerate a certain amount of uh, uh, HP per second. But the maggots will run around and attach to the people and they'll get the swinging and go, ah, it's, it's good crowd control for when people are near you. And um, the maggots will explode and their, and their explosion radius will be like seven, like right here, seven meters. But insatiable, I have an insatiable thing, which I'll show you about in the, in the, tell you about in a minute. But the duration can be pretty long and all that good stuff. So here we have that. Now let's look at the actual build itself. I'm rolling with a duration, decent range, and a high strength build here. Uh, honestly speaking, the only reason why I'm using overextended is just for uh, the length for the link for parasitic link because allies tend to like to run around the map, and so just to make sure that they can't run outside of my link. But to be quite honest, this could actually be taken out. So if you're not so much as a team player in that sense, right? And you don't really care about parasitic linking a teammate and you're more concerned with parasitic linking a, a target so that you can get that damage reduction, right? Because even though, yeah, it does extend the amount, I mean, the, the ability for the uh, larval to grab people, you're not going to be really cons concerned with it grabbing people from far away because it really can't grab every single enemy anyway. So that's you would go this route if you wanted to make sure that parasitic link doesn't drop off of a of a of a uh, in, of a uh, partner that you're rolling with if they decide they want to go solo for a minute and go run off to the other side of the map. You see what I'm saying? Because that's 76 meters of ally range. So. But if you're rolling on your own, right? If you're rolling on your own, you're gonna wanna say, uh, as far as I'm concerned, you're gonna wanna do something like, uh, uh, you could do, you could do rage, convert 40% of damage on health to energy. That will give you a, 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 a repeated amount of energy coming back. But I like equilibrium, so I do that instead. So whenever I get a health pickup, I get energy. Whenever I get energy pickups, I get health. So I use that instead. And so what I would put here is I would add to my strength. And the reason why is so that I can get that 90% damage reduction redirection there. Right? 
the rupture on the look at my in my insatiable chance now is 150 percent now here's what i'm talking about here again we've got our duration we get our our uh steel fiber to get that armor up of course we get our health up we have that blind rage and the reason why we don't care about energy efficiency is because of how we're going to be getting our energy back with this and with virulence because of the fact that virulence is going to give us back energy and the less efficiency we have we'll tend to we'll tend to get more energy back per kill this way anyway with a lower efficiency so i'm not worried about efficiency for real um but the two things we're going to be worried about here is Lava Burst and Insatiable. Insatiable is the one we're going to be playing around. And basically what it does is, as long as Nidus is standing inside of that number four, that, that nasty infestation spread, as long as I'm standing inside of it and things die inside of it and I get, you know, stacks, while I'm getting stacks standing inside of it, I have a 60% chance uh, of getting multiple stacks instead of just one. So it'll stack to it'll stack multiple times. Now, again, the base sixty percent chance increases with power strength. That's why when you see here at the bottom, Insatiable has a one hundred and fifty percent status chance, uh, success chance, and that again, not counting the twenty percent I can get from, uh, I'm going to get from Ravnus. I mean, uh, from my Wellspring, and generate. And you'll notice when when we when we start playing that I don't cast this unless I'm using that. And this, I, I use that Zenerate ability. Then we have, of course, Larval Burst. Larval Burst is going to allow me to reactivate the little larval tentacle thing that grabs everybody. And when I reactivate it, it'll blow up. And again, of course, Toxin Damage will spread for an 8 meter radius. And of course, this damage stacks for every enemy grabbed by the larva. So we can, we can get some really good, nasty Toxin spread. This is to try and get enemies in there and get them dead while inside the larva, while inside the, the, you know, the big pool, while I'm standing in it so I can just keep sucking up massive amounts of, of good old fashioned mutation stacks. Now, beyond that, there's not much else to Nidus in that sense. Like, you're not gonna see a lot of, uh, a lot of egregious, ridiculous power out of Nidus. Because his power is in ju is just being insanely hard to kill. Now we can go do a let's go do a You know I love going to the void. You know I love going to the void. Let's uh We'll do a normal defense so you can kind of see how this works. Okay. I was going to do this with the party, but... Our position has been compromised. I won't be able to show you properly how Nidus is supposed to work. Arrive. Or should I say how this build is supposed to work here. So... Our goal here, again, is to gather up mutation stacks. So we use our... Here we go. We use our our nice OP thingy thingy ball there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to... Mm -hmm. Okay. 
We got one. We got two. You just need to get the three. Things are going to get exponentially easier. There we go. Where is he? Huh. All right. Now, we're going to have some fun. Now the key here is to stay inside of it. Oh, let me stay inside of this thing. And we're just gonna let our our maggots go out there. And get out of here. Okay. Now I can go get this. There you go. Okay, we got eight seconds. Ted, I'll score. There we go. Unleash! Unleash the disease! The infestation! available do you choose to leave now or continue fighting we're getting there we're getting there don't worry again this is a thing where you're gonna see how progressively out of control this becomes
Grabbing who I can. They're just dying. You see? Even way over there. Motherfuckers are being harassed. I'm so far away. Just harassed. 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 Harassment. Harassment. <laughs> Just some complete harassment. Alright. Alright. You gonna wait? As you can see, my Warframe has been transforming slowly but surely. And we can come out here and grab all this. Top here. The infestation growth! The infestation growth!
I'm almost at the point of invincibility. Let's go. Extraction is ready. Unless you can handle more of the enemy. Keep fighting. Another opportunity to extract will appear soon. Gonna do we're gonna do this Hmm. Okay, so now they're they're more prone to okay. We're gonna do this like this then. You gotta travel and error it sometimes. Especially on stages like this.
Extraction is ready. Unless you can handle more of the enemy. We're gonna keep going, to people! Defend. You will be rewarded for your bravery. We're gonna keep going! Get us here! Get out of here. Okay, we're good. We're good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab... We need to grab somebody strong. We need to grab somebody strong. Yeah. We get you. Thank you, sir. There you go. Okay, what we'll do is we'll wait on that.
reinforcements available. Do you choose to leave now or continue fighting? Keep fighting. Another opportunity to extract will appear soon. And again, this is a warframe that you can use that ability to to freeze people in place like that. To wait for your uh, crowd pod to heal. If you're feeling so inclined, I'm going to do that real quick to reset that. And then we're going to throw this out. Just in case. And we're going to do that right there. Probably. Yeah, there you go. We're good on that. We're good. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's what I like. Mm. Keep looking up top here, because that's what... Mm. And we're going to throw this out over there. Just to make sure that that stays the way it needs to be. Yeah, yeah. There we go, we're going Oh, I hate that. Come on. There we go. Can't have it. No. <laughs> Feast upon her. Feast. Feast upon. Yes. 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 Perfect.
Yeah. Oh boy, you better be glad. Shit. I'm about to snatch it up. Nobody? Infestation. <laughs> Feed it. That's right. That's right, Bumbar. You will feed. You will be fest. You will be feasted upon. I'm not Let the gloop. Let the gloop take over you. Surrender thyself to the gloop. Surrender yourself to the infestation. Yes. To the infestation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and bring that back real quick. Roll! I didn't mean to, I meant to roll. As you can see, didn't die. Let me, let me get this right here. Thank you. And gluttony is a 